But it's a desperately sad story, which we get far too often every year, despite press releases, despite everything in the paper, in the press, on the news, for people not to pick up fawns. But if you do come across a fawn, don't sit and stroke it, don't think you're doing it good and keeping it calm by stroking it, because you're doing exactly the opposite. And fawns suffer from capture myopathy as much as adults when they're roe deer. And it's just a nightmare. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, obviously. I don't want to stress it, so I'm not going to try to cover it. I'm not going to try to do anything bar getting it back to its mum as quick as I can. I even travel adult deer like this, which people are always amazed at, but it stops them stressing. The annoying thing is for us, we're as busy as anything at the moment. It is manic, and I've now got to spend probably two and a half hours away from the centre doing this, which should never have happened. This is why I get frustrated and why my language gets more and more blue. You hear an animal screaming, it's probably screaming because there's people nearby, dogs nearby. It's not screaming because it's in pain. But now it's had the stress, it's been away from its mum for five hours. That in itself is no problem. But the stress that it's picked up in that five hours is humongous. The mum would have heard that without doubt. Well, we're just about here. As we came down, she exactly where she was. She's already cried out for mum once, which is great. We're now going to put her back exactly where she was. Right, now what we want to do is get all our scent off her thoroughly. So, it's a matter of putting on some gloves. All right, don't, I just don't want you to run for a second because I'm not ready. big rub in everything, they'll get all our scent. Yeah, I can hear a deer over there already, I can hear a deer snorting over there, which is absolutely fantastic news. I'm just gonna rub her everywhere because she's been so touched by humans. All right, sweetheart, I know, I know. everything we could have wanted to be honest that despite the fact that people thought she couldn't walk as soon as she was out of my arms she just ran off into the undergrowth she's now laying down just next to a tree we've already heard rust in the background and I'm sure I heard the call of a, a roe deer so all we can do now is back off at great speed and then see what happens so that is a great result and she's back where she should be all right little one you wait for your mum she'll come for you that's a promise that is a promise. Please spread the word, get the message out to everyone you know, and then perhaps we won't see so many of these instances in the future.